Yes. Who's your favorite character that you've created? Who's my favorite character that I've created? I mean, none of them really. Uh, I get. I mean, I don't know. I'm quite par I'm quite partial um, to Augustus Waters, but I, I, that's probably partly just because I. That book's only been out for three weeks, and I don't feel like I've given it over to you yet. I still feel a little bit possessive. <laughs> um, when I let it go all the way, then it'll be your book, not mine, and they won't be my characters anymore anyway. Uh, yes? yes. Um, as we know, Hazel is the first uh, like, book that you've used for the female perspective. Right. So I was wondering, A, what was the greatest challenge writing from a different perspective than you're used to, and what advice would you give to authors looking to write whole, complete characters from maybe a perspective that is a little alien to them? It's an interesting question. So what, what advice would I give writers looking to write from a perspective that's alien to them? I mean, not everyone would say that I succeeded with Hazel, by the way, but that's kind of you. That's kind of you. Um, and, and what was it like writing from a female perspective for the first time? It wasn't that different, to be honest with you, because I wasn't writing from like a capital F female perspective. I was writing very specifically from Hazel's perspective, and I felt connected to her and empathetic to her, and I felt like I spent a long, long time getting to know her, um, you know, like a decade. Um, <laughs> And so that part wasn't that hard. I mean, I got all the clothes wrong and stuff. Um, but then, my, you know, that's why I have so many great women in my life to tell me that I got the clothes wrong or whatever. I mean, I got all the clothes wrong about girls in my other books, too, because in my mind, it's always 1996. <laughs> you know, everybody's wearing Oprah's. <laughs> Like, I remember my first couple novels, everybody was always wearing these uh, flower print summer dresses. And Sarah was always like, that's ridiculous, no one wears those. But then recently, they've come back, and all of a sudden I seem very timely. Uh, I keep asking people if they dress like Hazel on purpose, and they're like, no, I just like this dress. Um, but, you know, my advice when it comes to writing, uh, the real experience that, that was difficult was writing from the perspective of someone who's uh, chronically ill and someone whose life expectancy is very different from mine. Um, and, and that was a challenge in, in a lot of ways. And, and my response to how, how you do that is that you make every effort to be respectful and you own up to it when you fall short, which you will. Um, but you know, novels are not in the business of, of being perfect anyway. Novels are, are in the business of you know, telling the best possible, the truest possible story through the story. And, um, you know, I'm sure there are places where I was wrong and, and places where my writing was insufficient and, and books that will come along that will um, do what I was trying to do better than I did it, and that's okay. But I wanted to try to be as respectful as I could of, um, of what it's like to be sick and to try to know as much as I could, to talk to as many people as I could. Um, and so that's what I did. I did a lot of research. I know way too much about cancer now. <laughs>